So this is spring 06, number 20. Uh, we have two molecules, CH4 and CCL4. Which one has the higher vapor pressure? Let's do our kind of summary cheat sheet on the side. High force, and that's intermolecular force, means high boiling point, high viscosity, high surface tension, and low vapor pressure. Okay? So that's our little cheat sheet there. We're looking in this first part for the highest vapor pressure. So for high vapor pressure, that means a low force. So which one has the lowest force? Uh, yeah, let's first do what's the dominant force in both. They're both London. So they're both London. Then we want to look at which ones to have the smaller force, the one that's smaller. And CH4 is the smaller one, because hydrogen is smaller, so that one will have the highest vapor pressure. Second one is between CH4 and CH3Cl. So in this case, we want the lower surface tension, that's this one. So lower su surface tension means lower force again. Well, the first one we determined is London, because there's no H-bond, there's no dipole. What's the second one? Dipole. It's dipole. There's no H-bond, but it's asymmetric. It has a dipole. There's electronegativity difference. So now this one's going to have the higher force. We're looking for the one with the lower force to get the lower uh, surface tension. So that's this one. And then the third one is NH3 <coughs> and pH3. Uh, so in this case, what are they? What's the first one? What kind of force? Dipole. 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 Oh, hydrogen. H-bond. Oh. There's a hydrogen with a, on a nitrogen, which is an electronegative element. So, yeah. That one's very strong. What's this one? Is it asymmetric? pH 3 has what shape? Trigonal pyramidal. It looks just like ammonia. So it has a dipole. So the H bond would be stronger. What did we want? We wanted the molecule with the higher boiling point. Higher boiling point means higher force. The one with the H bond is going to take it. Yes? Can you do number 19 <clears throat> on the spring of 6? Okay, yeah. Does that answer all the questions here? I, I have a question about it. Okay. Um, we give a molecule that has like a bunch of like dipoles, like a big molecule with a bunch of dipoles. Does that, that doesn't like overpower like the H1, right? That's only with London forces? It depends if the dipoles are additive. So if they're all pointed the same direction, then they're additive and that could get stronger and stronger with time. That's just extremely unlikely. Usually they're randomly pointed. There may, depending on where they are, be a net zero dipole or there may be a dipole, but usually they don't add so much that it just gets so overwhelming. <laughs> the H bond could get stronger and stronger if there's just more, say, OH groups on a given molecule. Then the H bond So So something with two OH groups would have a stronger hydrogen bond than something with one OH. Yeah, the intermolecular force. Each H-bond would still be the same strength, but the overall intermolecular force would be stronger. Okay.